support of our charity, the Yukon Children's Cancer Fund, over the years. We've raised millions of dollars, and I hope we can continue to see that support for the next number of years. It's been my pleasure to be associated with you, the fans, for your, for your support and, and the enthusiasm you've shown this building. There's none other. And on behalf of all the players that have, have left Hartford and the guys that are sitting on this bench, we just want to say thank you from all of us. God bless, and thank you very much. Civic Center, great speech by Kessler. Well, again, it's only fitting. The leadership that this man has brought, not just to the hockey team, but to this whole community and everything that he has done over the years. And it was great to have him back as a Hartford Whaler and the captain. And yes, a, a, a speech that definitely came from the herd. Our Bud Ice player of the game today, none other than Kevin Deneen. Well, he deserves to be the player of the game. He played a great game. You knew he would here. And watch Kevin Deneen with this first shot. Great pass from Andrew Castles. He beats Rick Tabarazzi easily and had many, many more chances tonight. He could have had a, a whopper of a night with the great chances he had, but he did play a great game, and he deserves to be player of the game in the last game. It is also our Discover card, payback, playback, play of the game this afternoon. Let's see it one more time from a different angle. Castles with a blind backhand pass, and Denis just wrist one right through Rick Tabaracci. Tabaracci all over the place. And the elation on the face of Kevin Denis, he really wanted that one. And you can see they all enjoyed it with him. Crowd continues to enjoy and relish this moment, the final moments in Whaler history. Every one of us feeling the same emotional tug on our hearts. Farmington Savings Bank save of the game, and we've seen so many from this guy. John Burke made some excellent saves again tonight. And watch what happens on this breakout for the Tampa Bay Lightning. It's a three on two. Grat with a beautiful pass. Poshek shoots, and there it is again. The wall is up. Sean Burke smothers it up. And we've seen that happen many times. Great stuff. Final score on the final day. The Whalers 2 and the Lightning 1. Back with more right after this on Sports Channel.
Mariners go out as they should as winners this afternoon a 2 1 win over the Tampa Bay Lightning for the final time John Forrest and Bill Gardner back upstairs and tell you what the players gave us so much this season obviously to get to the playoffs would have been great mm -hmm. but the moments we've shared with them this year have been outstanding. Uh, it's been a funny year to be honest with you John uh, the first couple of months up till Christmas time were just tremendous this team was on a roll they were on a mission they had a great training camp and they went from there and the abundance of injuries really hurt this team core people who got injured and from then on it was a roller coaster ride and they were just able, never able to get back on track the way the way they were the first couple of months and the guys themselves the relationship you build uh, over a full year it's great a tremendous bunch of guys the coaching staff you couldn't get along with a better bunch of guys in that regard so overall in my experience for the first time traveling with a team on the outside really looking in uh, it was a great experience overall Billy you've come back to the area I mean, we've talked about it during the telecast today the opportunity you get here in Hartford which is very unique one to one contact with so many fans we got that chance this season and I know I relish all the times we've shared with the fans especially today. Well, the special thing about it is, is the fact that they are really the only major league franchise, and I think that's what makes it that much more special because there's not other teams for them to look at. And I said in other cities, you've got a bunch of teams, and it doesn't matter who you are. Here, it's an item, and it's a big item, and the fans are just great. You see them in the parking lot. You see them on the road, tremendous amount of people on the road following this team, even in the last stretch here, and uh, they are the core, and they will miss this team forever, uh, but I'm sure the Hawks will stay with them wherever they do go. I believe the players might be coming back onto the ice for an encore because the crowd won't go home. Sean Burke leads them out as he has done on so many nights this season. And the people are still here. There are thousands still in the building. And this is almost 20, 25 minutes after the game has finished. And they're back out there, and the people once again are rewarded. And well, they should be. And sure, they should sit here forever if they want to. And the Whalers have come out with pucks, emblem pucks, NHL National Hockey League pucks that they do use in games. They're throwing them in the stands. And this is a great moment for the fans, but for the players too. I mean, a lot of memories. Uh, your hockey career honestly goes by so quickly because the season moves on and on. You're playing game after game, and time goes by. And I'll tell you what. It comes to an end sooner than you really think. And this is the kind of situation that they're going to cherish for the rest of their lives. This is a human moment. And a moment in sports where you don't hear or talk about it very much because you talk about salaries. You talk about work stoppages. You talk about owners relocating teams. You talk about politicians not getting the job done. You talk about players who maybe don't care about the city or the town that they play in. But these guys do. And the fans care. That's why this moment is so special. Yeah, they're having a great time, and they're enjoying it as long with the fans, and you're exactly right. I, I, mean, I, I don't know what to say. It's, it's come to an end, and these guys will keep this in their thoughts forever. It's a part of history, maybe not the history that you would like to have, no. but it's something they definitely will never forget. They've closed the books on a franchise, 18 years in the National Hockey League, the Hartford Whalers, and the link the fans have to them, the players. As they leave the ice for what may be the final time, you just never know. Billy, it's been a great season here on Sports Channel. You said some very kind things at the end of the broadcast. I'd just like to say from my perspective, I really enjoyed working with you this year. I go right to the people. That's where I get my information. <laughs> I talk to the people about the job you have done this season, the insight, your wit, putting on the colors today. An excellent job, and I've really enjoyed it all season long. Well, I appreciate it too, John. And uh, it's my first experience of doing what I did, and I've sort of entailed a couple of different things traveling with a team. But you've been my leader, and I followed you, and, and you do such a great job. And you don't get confident enough from me. I'm still learning, and I just follow your direction. You are excellent, and we got to thank Rich for Lance, Jim Edmonds, yes. and Bob Bortz, our producer, done a great job helping me along too. And I'm a rookie. It's my first experience. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, to be in a situation like this, to be in the National Hockey League again, something I've always wanted to do, to be back in the game and give back something that maybe I, uh, I took for granted at one time. But uh, I can't say enough how good you have done. And, and I've been around for a long time. I grew up in Canada. I've seen the best. And John Forsen's right up there. Thank you, Billy. Much appreciated. We are surrounded by great people here on Sports Channel. Steve Reagan, Jim Burgoyne, Bob Bortz, our producer, our very fine directors. Jim Edmonds, one of the best. Rich Berlant, a young up-and-comer and doing a fine job protecting us all season long. <laughs> well, when you say hello, you have to say goodbye. It's very hard to say goodbye this afternoon, so guess what? I'm not about to say so. 
I will say this, we're going to go to break, and when we come back, we have a video piece put together by Bob Bortz. It's outstanding because it shows you the emotion of being a Hartford Whaler fan. We'll leave you with this thought. Thank you. Thank you for always being a Whaler fan.